guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share my morning and nighttime skincare routine. It was kind of requested in my Instagram when I posted a couple of skincare products, so I thought why not do a routine video since I actually haven't done one on my channel in a while, so I thought it'd be nice to do kind of an updated view. So if you guys want to find out what my routine is and what products consist of it, just keep watching. my first step is washing my face. I love the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This works remarkably well. It smells like cucumbers and it gets rid of any leftover makeup from the night before, dirt, oil, anything of the like, but it does not dry my skin. I feel like my skin is refreshed, it's soft, and it's just in balance. I love this product. And then usually because it's just like a daytime kind of routine, I'll follow up with a moisturizer. So what I tend to wear on an everyday basis is the Simple Rich Moisturizer. I really like the Rich Moisturizer versus the um, Light Moisturizer because it does give more moisture to my skin. If I tend to get dry in that T-zone area, it really does help to replenish that moisture. But it helps to keep and retain that moisture throughout the day, which is amazing. And if I'm not going to be wearing makeup for the day, sometimes I'll throw in a little bit of the Josie Marin Argan Illuminizer into my moisturizer and by mixing the two I get this kind of dewy mix that gives a more illuminated effect to my face so I feel like I can skip makeup especially in the summer when doing that otherwise I'll go for the Origins Vita Zinc SPF 15 so what it does because it is a tinted moisturizer is even out that skin tone and make your face look like you're wearing makeup but without really wearing makeup so this is great for those minimal makeup days or those no makeup makeup looks and the best part is it has SPF 15 in it. So this works pretty well on the days I don't want to just wear moisturizer. I want a little color to my skin, but I again, I don't feel like wearing makeup. Perfect product. And then when I'm through with that, I'll just follow up with a lip butter. This one's from Nivea, and it's the Vanilla and Macadamia Kiss. The first time I discovered this was actually when I got married last April. So over a year ago, my makeup artist put this on my lips before applying my lipstick, and I just fell in love with it. It made my lips so silky soft, so smooth, and of course, it made the application of lipstick that much easier afterwards. So I ended up going to Ulta and picking it up. So basically, I've had this for over a year, and I haven't even hit pan yet. I have drastically created a dent in it, of course, but it still has not hit pan. So at 2 or $3, it's a great product because I have so much in here. I don't use it every single day, but I do use it quite often before bed or in the morning, and it's just such a great lip butter. I love Nivea, and this is my favorite because it smells like vanilla. When it comes to my nighttime skincare routine, it involves a lot of face washing and makeup removal, unless of course I didn't wear makeup for that day. So my favorite go-to a face wash that I'll talk about right now. This one's my favorite. It's the Philosophy Purity One Step Facial Cleanser. It does a great job of getting rid of all makeup, oils, and dirt. And the great part is it's one step. So basically you don't need anything else. It does everything you need and it does not make your face feel really dry. I hate those face washes that make your skin feel really tight. This one doesn't do that. And a little bit goes a long way so you don't need a lot of product and this bottle will last you forever. And this one is the First Aid Beauty Skin Rescue. This is the deep cleanser with red clay and what it does is it kind of acts like a mask the kind that pulls out those impurities from your pores but without having to wait for it to dry because it is a cleansing face wash. So basically you apply it to your face, you massage it into your skin, and then you simply rinse it off. But when you rinse it off, what this product has done is it has gone deep into your pores and pulled out any gunk, junk, impurities, excessive oil, dirt, makeup, and just gets it out of there. It can be a little bit drying if you use it every day, so I would suggest only using this maybe once or twice a week. And again, I prefer this one in the shower, but it does work well in the sink, and it's a pretty good product. I've really been liking First Aid Beauty lately, and I thought I'd mention it. And then, of course, the hardest part of makeup is the eye makeup, especially mascara. I dread taking my mascara off because it takes forever. I just hate it. It's so annoying. But I have to do it because the last thing I want is black smudges on my pillowcases or on my bed sheets at night. So the products that I have found to work really well for that, the first one is from Vichy. I think that's how you say it. Vichy Laboratories. And it's supposed to be makeup remover, but it's targeted for the eye area. So it works really well at taking off your eyeshadow, any kind of eyebrow makeup you may have on, eyeliner, and then of course mascara. So what I do is I pour a little bit or dab a little bit onto a sponge one of those uh, makeup removing sponges and then just kind of place it over each eye one at a time 
for a couple of seconds and then move it about in a circular motion. Then when I open my eye and remove the sponge, and I just flip it over because a lot of the product does get into the other side and it's clean again and you just kind of do the same thing. And then I usually use one pad per eye and do the flip motion and that will usually get rid of all the makeup in under a couple of minutes. And then if I'm not using that, another one I like is the Instant Eye Makeup Remover from Sephora, which is pretty affordable because this was about $9.00. This one was $17, but they both do a great job, so it just depends on preference, on budget, or what you like, but they both do about the same thing. And I thought I'd mention both to give you guys kind of like an alternative. And then when I'm done with all of that makeup removal, it's time to tone my face. And what I like to use is the Thayer's um, Alcohol-Free Toner. This one is in Witch Hazel and Rose. I love the way it smells because it smells like rose petals. I'm not sensitive or allergic to rose. I know some people are. But they also have the Unscented, which is the original, and I think they have Cucumber and maybe a mint one. But this one is my all-time favorite, and this is so affordable. I think it's like 5 or $6. You can pick it up at your local drugstore or GNC, and it's huge. It's 12 fluid ounces. A little bit goes a long way. I've had this for the longest time, and as you can see, it's barely put a dent into the bottle. Again, it's alcohol-free. It has aloe vera, which is very calming to the skin. And what toner does, because a lot of people don't know this, but what toner does is it rebalances that pH balance in your skin. Because once you're through with washing your face, you tend to throw your skin out of whack, and that's what can cause acne, that's what can cause overly dry patches. So by toning your skin after washing your face, you're gonna rebalance that pH balance in your skin so that it's all nice and calm. The last step is basically moisturizing. So what I like to use is a heavier moisturizer at night something that's really going to repair any damaged skin or any dry patches and I've been going to the Origins High Potency Nitamins which I picked up from Sephora and I have been loving this little guy. I mentioned it the last time I did a skincare routine. I'm sure I've mentioned it in favorites videos. It's a wonderful product. If you have texture issues it gets rid of any of those bumps and foreheads that people tend to get. If you have very dry patchiness, gone. In the morning your skin is so supple, so soft and you can easily apply your makeup without having to worry about any dry, clingy patches. This stuff is a godsend. So another product that I do like to use, it's not necessarily morning or night, it's just something I like to do in the shower, and I'll do this about once or twice a week. And one of them is a mask, and then the other one is a scrub. So really quickly, I'd like to talk about this mask. I've been loving it lately. It works really wonderfully well, and it's the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Charcoal and Black Sugar Mud Mask. And what this does, it's for normal to combination skin. So basically, when you put this mask on, you're going to be moisturizing your skin. It's basically going to polish away any rough or dry skin and get rid of any dead skin. And then at the same time, it's going to pull out any clogged pore junk. So any of that gunk that's in your pores, whether it's silicone from, um, from primers or just dirt, oil, makeup, it's going to get that out as well. But I love that it also moisturizes my skin. It kind of balances it out and then it scrubs away any kind of dry skin or roughness in the area. And then I basically just leave this on for about 10 minutes. Once it's dry, I just rinse it off in the shower. And then I'll follow up with my favorite scrub. And then my favorite scrub of all time is the St. Ives blackhead clearing which also calms redness scrub and this one is in the green tea i love the way it smells and this product works really well if you're trying to fight acne or just get rid of blackheads because it has salicylic acid in it it works really well and it smells really good so i like to follow up in the shower after a mask with this scrub it just seems to work really well for me and then again when i come out of the shower i tone and moisturize yet again so there's a cycle of keeping your skin healthy. I think the most important thing is moisturizing it. So be sure to drink lots of water and make sure to include a moisturizer into your morning and night routine and you will definitely see a drastic difference in your skin. Sometimes you won't even feel like you need to wear makeup because really just hydrating the skin and taking care of what you eat and drink will show a world of difference. And that's all I have to share with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see any other routine or any other videos like that, just let me know in the comment box below. And I will see you guys next time.